the Shell with Creative Shell Bear, Little Acres Creations. Today we are making a hummingbird feeder. And let me tell you about this hummingbird feeder. I saw a yellow hummingbird, so I dug out my hummingbird feeders, filled them up, and both of them were broken. So I knew I had those little, I don't know if you've seen them, but they're little tubes, and you just stick them in a glass jar, like a wine a bottle but I can't find those tubes anywhere so I did some research on the internet I found an idea using a thin mason jar or a plastic uh, container so I'm let me show you what I'm using to make this this is just a cup and it's just a real narrow you want something narrow I have a lid and I'll be drilling holes in this for the um, feeders and then for the our bottle. I have a seal and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue that down just so that I have a good seal when we fill this up with the nectar. And of course I have my uh, bottle. This is a pop bottle from Safeway. I think it had like grape juice in it or something like that. had that on hand because I used to melt a bunch of bottles. And then I have these really cute red flowers. Aren't those cute? They're so tiny. And I thought those would be perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill the holes in the lid. One for our wine bottle or our glass bottle. One, And then around the edges. And I haven't decided exactly how many I'm going to do around the edges. But I have some, I think I have like 10 or 12 flowers. And I'll probably do four or six around the edges. And then I have some wire, and this is 20 gauge wire that I'm going to do a decoration or a hanger, make a hanger on our bottle because it will be upside down. And this one kind of has like an insert right here. So, you know, you just want something that's going to be really sturdy and that will hold your bottle up. So I decided to go with wire. And while I was looking for the little flowers yesterday, I found these really pretty red I think they're like a shell. So I thought what I would do is do my hanger out of the wire and then I would throw a shell on here and there to decorate um, to decorate my bottle and kind of draw the hummingbirds in. And the good thing about this bottle is it's like 30, almost 34 ounces, which is so much more than you get in a typical hummingbird feeder. So you won't be filling it up every day or every you know twice a day or whatever and if you make a couple of them you might can go quite a while before you have to fill it up I'm gonna glue in my seal just so I have a really good seal and then I'm gonna go punch some holes or drill some holes in it I'll be right back okay so we got the hole what we did is he just used a forstner bit my husband did and just made this just large enough so that it will screw on the bottle and then I just kind of um, estimated where all the little flowers are going to go and we made it just a bit deeper than the bottom of the flower and when I put it in I'm just going to tack it down with some super glue I'm going to kind of go at an angle so that when the little hummingbirds come it'll be easier for them to get to so, and I'm just going to tack it down with just a bit of super glue first, and then I'm going to come back and use some E6000. I'm just gonna let that sit a little bit and I have my E6000 I'm gonna come back I'm gonna go ahead and go around each of the little flowers with that probably on the inside just to make sure we have a really good seal and then I'm gonna put this temporary seal that I have um, I just got this from 
now at the food farm the farm place they have like a plastic lid and you put a seal on it and it's kind of you know like the old metal ones it's kind of like that but it's meant to take the place of it so what we did is we just pulled the seal out I'm really not fond of those I really like the metal ones but it works for this project and I'm just going to super glue this or E6000 this to the bottom just so that we have a really good seal so and I will be right back with that okay so I got my flowers glued in and like I said I used E6000 I have seen where they use um, hot glue hot glue you know for some of the projects but I was thinking where I put my hummingbird feeder it gets really really hot and it kind of made me wonder if the hot glue would remelt and come apart and I think that the E6000 you know is safe for animals once it's dried so I'm going to let it dry and cure overnight and then I will you know hang it out for the animals because I certainly don't want anyone you know getting hurt um, you know from a homemade project <laughs> okay so what I'm gonna do I have that well I have my E6000 out I'm just gonna go ahead and want and put that on my bottle just around the lip of it not a whole lot just enough to keep it in place and make sure there's a really good seal it's a really tight fit as it is so I think it'll be just fine and what pushes up you know will just help um, hold it in so I think that will be okay use my toothpick here kind of spread it out if you've never used E6000 it's kind of pretty rubbery almost but you know it kind of reminds me of super glue it dries and attaches really really quickly so I really like it. I use it for a lot of projects okay so now we're just going to screw that on you know in our lid hopefully it will screw in there that looks really good I really like how it's fitting and I'm going to go ahead and just just a bit more E6000 on the inside okay so I'm going to let that dry and it looks really good make sure it's pretty level there okay and I'm going to let that dry probably a good hour or so and then I'm going to come back with our wire and we're going to decorate and put a hanger on this and I already have my hummingbird food going so it'll be cool enough tomorrow to fill it up and see if we have any visitors okay so I will be back in a little bit okay so it's all uh, glued it's the glues all dry it did dry a little crooked <laughs> I don't know if you can see that but that's okay because the wire that we're gonna do you know as long as we have that so it's hanging straight and isn't dripping or anything we'll be fine okay so what I'm doing is I'm just going to go ahead I'm gonna make this about three or four times the length of my bottle the wire and if you don't have wire you can certainly use um, ribbon or string or whatever you have you know this isn't a requirement just something I had on hand and I thought I would go ahead and use that so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to um, fit, fit this on and I'm just going to make sure it's really secure that it has a good hanger on top and I'm going to do that I'm going to hang it up and um, I'll show you my finished videos when this is complete okay so here's our water what do you guys think I think it turned out really cute uh, kind of get a little bit closer you can kind of see the little red pieces of shell on there and hopefully that'll bring the hummingbirds closer I just thought it was really cute and I haven't seen any hummingbirds on it yet but it's still early so 
Thank you guys so much for watching and you guys have a great day.